Hello, everybody in movie trivia schmodown universe. This is such an amazing, amazing season. So here is why it is so important for Patreon. Patreon is the lifeblood of movie trivia schmodown. It has been for a very long time. We are doing three pay-per-views versus and that will be one match one big match the throwdown also two big matches inside of the throwdown and then at the end of the month battlefield so that's five big pay-per-view matches and guess what if you are at the ten dollar level you get all three of them you're also going to get one commentary match a month so let's say that uh rachel cushing and mike kalinowski decide they're going to watch their san diego comic-con match together and they're going to comment on it you guys will get that at the ten dollar tier it up twenty dollar and up we are doing special q a's with certain patrons so dan merle just won a match well if you're the twenty dollar patron the link will be sent out you can join the stream and ask question right after his match and this i didn't even mention the exhibition you get an exhibition match also exhibition that will happen once a month that you guys will get patreon.com slash schmodown join today it's all going to be worth it but we thank you we thank you for your support and everything that you have done now go enjoy the match enjoy the program whatever you're watching on sen enjoy it and we'll see you next time okay peggy gubbins is the oh, page for betty welcome to the usual suspect I know I have it in me to be the interdicting champion, uh, and I guess I'm just going to have to wait till next year to do that. I have all the faith in the world that Roxy will continue to help me improve in IG. On Harris and Polo Yama, they're back together. They got a number one contender shot, those two. We'll be back, and we'll win more matches, and we'll be great, because I really do love this team, and I know we're really good together. You promised me that Winston was going to step down. Chandru, we have me, and we have you, and that's it. Shannon was right. Big bitch. Gotta, gotta focus, right? Big match against Ben Bateman, that guy. Ben Bateman. Emails first. All right. Emails first. Okay. Ooh, Prince wants my social security number. Let me get right on that. Netflix renewal. Yeah, I gotta do that, I guess. Uh, Netflix. Yeah, no thanks to uh, HBO Max rocking and rolling right now with the Schneider Cut. And what else? Ooh, Clark Wolf. Send me a video. Huh. Let's see. Hey, Mark Riley. How are you? I've been trying to get in touch with you, um, but I wanted to just record a quick message and let you know going into the match. Um, I'm here for you. I got your back. People are here for you. You know, um, I, I, I know that it's been, it's been kind of tough lately. Um, Bateman is Bateman and makes things difficult. And I know that you are a really sensitive player and a sweet person. And I know that even though it's just a game, it's, it's probably getting to you, you know, but I, I want you to just remember that you are playing the game for fun. And not everyone in this game is bad. Not everyone is out to get you. The fans are behind you. I'm behind you. <laughs> and uh, and whatever happens, you know, just know that we got you. We got your back. Have fun. Have fun out there. Breathe. Relax. Just get out there and play your best, you know, just like we used to do. And as always, if you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to give me a call. Okay? I'll see you soon, buddy. Clark Wolf is so classy, you know? Yeah, Wolves of Steel, like we used to do. You know, I'm going to do it for real friendship. Classy Clark Wolf, real friendship. Yeah, baby. Hello, 
everybody. Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. I'm Christian Harloff and two new rookies going to start us off here today. Mark, I know you're excited because I am. Well, Christian, I'm not big on equinoxes or seasons changing. I don't know if it's spring yet, but I do know that hope springs eternal around this time of year. And why not with two hotshot rookies who were esteemed draft picks? And now we have warring factions going head to head with two of their newest acquisitions. Should be a good one, partner. I'm really excited about it because we're going to see two competitors here that went in the draft they had put auditions out there we liked what they were doing the managers liked what they were doing and they are here today and of course that is from the usual suspects the boston badass Paige for Brady and pg peggy gubbins gonna go head to head peggy of course from the den and Paige from the suspects so this is going to be a big move here because as these matches start to happen, it are it is these matches between the rookies that start the season of those two points. This is a singles match, so, so those two points, they mean a lot. And when you start to put those together, and then as we get into the tournament season and all that, it's these matches in the beginning of the season that start to be like, oh, that was, the, that was the Turner. That was the one that really, that match there, that added a lot to the faction ultimately getting those points. Yeah, and when you look at Sam Levine and Kate Mulligan, how much do they love their competitors? They really both are shepherding their hot shot rookies to the world until it is time to put them on full display. And that is the case with both Frabetti and Gubbins here today. You have Boston and all the dirty water associated with that great town from which my family hails. And then you have the motor Sydney Mayhem of Peggy Christian. This could be one for the books. Mark these two names down, folks, because only one's going to win here today, but they're both going to be around this league for a long, long time. All right. Well, we are going to see. This is one of the things that I really love about a lot of the uh, the new players coming in, the, the auditions that they saw. We saw tons of the videos from all of the hundreds of people that had put out those auditions. But you guys get to see the reactions of the stuff that they did, of how they got here, what they did in order to get here, and how they reacted when they got chosen to be in the league. And who better to show you all that than Nerd Chronic. Here we go. Hi, my name is Peggy. Um, I think I'm going to tell you the story of how I came across the Schmodown. March 31st, 2019. I know this because I went back through my text messages. Somehow, the free-for-all three came into my algorithm. I dig this guy's vibe, but why is he wearing a Hannibal Lecter mask? Oh snap, this girl's got two belts? She's gotta be good. Mark Flaubert. Legends of the Fall. He kisses an egg. <laughs> I like this guy. Rachel no, not oh, Rachel! Oh. Ooh, I dig it, this guy's a bad Ooh, he's got a belt too, he must be good. And you're no! I was hooked. I texted my older brother Mike because not only is he a big movie fan like me, he is a lifelong wrestling fan. The last thing we ever talked about actually was the match between Mike Kalinowski and Janine the Machine. And then a couple days after that, I get a call from my mom asking if I had spoken to Mike recently. He had not shown up for work the past two days and no one's been able to get a hold of him. So we called the Vegas Police Department to do a wellness check on him and he had died. The last thing we ever talked about was the Schmodown and how I wish that he had joined the Fan Leagues, but he never did. I joined the Fan Leagues and now I am probably the most active female in the Fan Leagues. I have wins in most of the major Fan Leagues. I think Mike would be proud just to have my name on the list of draft eligible players, so. Here's me shooting my shot. Thank you for this opportunity to throw my hat in the ring. So, hopefully see you soon. I need you to be quiet for just a little bit, okay? I'm shooting a promo. All right? Love you. I will always rep for the Fan League Four, but uh, we're all split up now. And I would say that I'm on my own right now, but I am so not on my own. I got a rookie rated PG. 
You're gonna need parental guidance to watch how this match goes down. What do you make of Peggy? She's from your neck of the woods, I believe. That's right, from my neck of the woods, from Kate's neck of the woods. Don't bet on Boston over Chicago. Thrilled uh, uh, that good fortune has shined upon me, that she is still available. Uh, Paige for Betty. <laughs> Welcome to the usual session. March 31st, this Boston badass is about to take Peggy, whatever her last name is, down. I'm about to show who, who the real lioness is in this league. The suspects, we're going to conquer all divisions this year. Amadou did his job, Reed did her job, and I have every bit of confidence in Paige that she's going to handle her competition just as easy. This is a lady who lives movies. When it comes to my movie knowledge, I can compare to the greats in Boston, like Big Poppy, Bobby Orr, and Larry Bird. Sam and the Usual Suspects saw that. You could have one basketball player, you're going to take Larry Bird over Michael Jordan? Wow! Wow! We'll see how that turns out for you. And yes, you have more Super Bowl wins than we do, but guess what? We're undefeated against you in the Super Bowl. Never been scared of Boston for one second. Peggy. I know you were in the fan leagues, and you may have been good in that league, and you're part of this fan league four, but you've never faced this Boston Wrath before. So I hope you're ready to bring your A game, because you don't know what's coming your way, girl. She was maybe the best investment I could have made in my singles choices in rookies. I mean, look, am I putting too much pressure on her? I hope not, but the point is, I think she's going to be able to live up to it. The mission is bringing points home to the faction. That is how I am going to be a valuable member of the Den this season. So I'm sorry, Boston Badass, but uh, you're going to have to start off the season with an L because I'm not coming home without them. And I'll tell you, you know, it's it, it is just it's 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 a touching it, it story all the way around, and everything kind of uh, when you watch it, Mark, you know that a lot of that stuff, uh, of course, I relate to, and and to watch the the personal stories and the way it, it blends over, and then to see Paige's reaction when she's watching the, the 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 you know the the call of her name by Sam Levine, and she jumps up and she's so excited. That's why we do this, right? That's why we we continually watch and, and watch all of you out there watching to say, I want to be a part of that. And that's exactly what Peggy did. She said, I want to be a part of that. Some way, somehow, I will be a part of it. And they both are, and they're here today. And it's that first question. It's that first question, getting that under your belt. How do you do it? How do you do it under the lights? What does it mean? And how do you, how do you just keep moving? The glory, the family, the community. That's why I do this, Christian, or at least that's why I did it for the first six seasons. Now I just do it for the free ties that look like the couch at your auntie's place. Fair. All right. Are you ready to get going here? Kind of wish I switched the top. You know, just go. Just we're, we're rolling. Go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the movie trivia showdown. Introducing first, representing the usual suspects, making her Schmodown debut. The Boston Badass, Paige O'Reilly! Paige, I know you've been waiting for it. I know you've been waiting for the introduction. You are here. You have made it. What's it been like waiting for that first match? Oh, man. I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time. And let's just say, I'm ready. Peggy, I'm sorry, man, but you're going to have to bring your A game today because I'm ready for battle and it's going to be a war. Yeah, you certainly brought your Star Wars game on display in the background. So if I had to ask you, Paige, what sort of energy you're bringing to this match? Is it more like the Grogu, the, the positive, the light side of the force, or are you more Imperial? Are you more Sith? Is it more dark side from you here today? I'm a rebel all day, baby. 
Well, you know, I will say this, Paige, because, you know, you get you get drafted there by Sam Levine. Obviously, as I mentioned, we saw in the promo where you were excited. You, you jumped up. You were ready. You knew you were going to be in the league right before you were getting in here. And you were calling out some big names. You were calling out Ben Bateman. You were calling out some names. Do you you're that confident you're ready to come in here and and kick some ace? Oh, I mean, you guys gave me a name for a reason. Boston badass, man. I mean, you got to call out those big boys, and man, I just I can't wait to play them. So let's just get this one under the belt first so I can get to those guys now. Well, thank you, Paige. And we are now going to bring in your opponent. And her opponent representing the den, making her Schmodown debut, PG. Gubbins, you have arrived, you have made it, I have seen the journey, I understand the lengths of what it has taken for you to get here, how are you feeling, what it's, what has it been like from the first time watching the matches, to understanding going to the fan leagues, to getting into the draft, and finally to be here? Well, in the immortal words of the outfield, could not wait for this moment to come, couldn't wait for this day to begin. I have been looking forward to this very long time. Paige, talk you smack all you want. You gotta bring it in the game, let's go. Uh, cannot wait to go on vacation far away. But Peggy, as I try to figure out how many Van Halen CDs are up on your wall behind you, my question is simple. You take that, that Midwestern, tough city kind of vibe to the schmodown, but do you know anything about the Boston Badass? Have you been able to kind of game plan towards your opponent today or is it all about what's in your head and you're not worried who's across the desk i did a little bit of research on her ahead of this match but it's me versus the questions right now whoever isn't sitting on the other side i'm paying no mind to all right so peggy one last question for you you know being part of the den what's it been like working with kate mulligan it's been fantastic the camaraderie between the den this season has been amazing uh we all work together they've prepped me for this hopefully i'm ready to go Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Mark, what are the rules around number one? You know, we've made a special product when new competitors and rookies don't really care about meeting us. They're like, just get to the question. So we're almost there in round number one. You get eight of those aforementioned questions. Each one's worth a point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing, at least not in round number one. You each have 15 seconds once the question is asked to get that correct answer onto whatever tablet you have with whatever writing utensil you prefer. Once we ask you by name or nickname, please show what you wrote to your camera at the same time you verbalize your attempt into the microphone. Keep in mind, you each have three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the three round match. You're not sure you heard a question right. You want to buy yourself another 15 seconds. Use a JTE rule. You can also just say repeat, jete. We're pretty loose about that. You also each have one challenge to be utilized whenever you feel like it. We'll bring in your manager. They'll confirm and ratify that said challenge is taking place after some deliberation. And Christian, I see focus, and I see heart, and I see grit, and I think that it's just up to us to ask the questions and get out of these ladies' way. EG, are you ready? Let's go. Boston Badass, are you ready? I'm ready for a war. Let's get this started. Then let's get ready to Schmodown. Round number one. Question number one. We're going to start with directors. What famous comedic actor directed the films Reality Bites, The Cable Guy, and The Secret Life of Walter Mitty? You had a, uh, you had a secret life, Christian. Who would you be? Would you be an assassin? Would you be a doctor? What do you got? I'd be, I'd sell pineapples in Hawaii. Five, four, okay. three, two, one. Pens down, please. Hands up. And Peggy. Ben Stiller. Yes. Paige. My man, Ben Stiller. Tie game as we get to question number two. You would definitely be the most competitive my, uh, pineapple. Junkies, uh, eraser real quick for you guys. Here we go. <laughs> Plugging other shows and I like it. Here we go. Here's the next one. <laughs> We'll take any and all plugs around here. Your next category is the world of black cinema. And the question, which rapper stars as Captain Antoine Mack in the 2004 film Soul Plane? 
you know, now Peggy Gubbins is the third of the Fan League Four to now compete here, as we see. Oh, yeah. Amara Moses and Christy V before her five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. And Paige. Cedric the Entertainer. That's incorrect. And Peggy. I went Snoop Dogg. That is correct. All right. So 2 1 as Peggy gets the first lead here as we get to question number three fantasy sci fi. Jake Gyllenhaal, Rebecca Ferguson, and Ryan Reynolds play scientists on the International Space Station in which 2017 sci fi horror film? Christian, I like that. Peggy and I share the same brain where it's you got to put your shoes on display the in good the background. Shoes. Look at that. Nice For kid. some reason, it made me hungry. I don't know why that would happen. Five, four, shoes and beef. three, two, one. Pens down, please. And we start with, excuse me, uh, Peggy. Peggy. Didn't get it. Decided to write Van Wilder for fun. Is incorrect. And Paige. Life. Yes. yes, and we got the tie Peggy's game. Peggy's got to get one, man. Come on, you got this. Tie game. Here's the Are next you one. Trying to talk smack. That's adorable. Wow, I like <laughs> no. that. I like this already. Look at the moxie on these two. I like it. And now we get to Back, question man. four. All right, question number four. It's category of movie quotes. And the question: Which classic film coined the line "There's no place like home"? And boy, ain't that the truth, unless you are the delinquent, in which case, whatever tent you currently walk by is your house. Just woke him up somewhere. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Paige. The Wizard of Oz. Yes. Peggy. The Wizard of Oz. Tie game three, three, as we get to our next question. This is question five. This is new releases. Camille Ninjani and... And Issa Rae star as a couple who gets caught up in a murder mystery in what 2020 comedy? Reading about Kamel's workout for that movie he's working on. Yeah. It's not the workout. It's the diet that gets me. Ooh. No beer. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Peggy. Couldn't pull it. Road Stuber. And Paige. Love birds. That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. Four, three, four, three. As we get to our next question with Paige seeing a one point lead here, here is question six, Mark. And that's in the category of comedies. <laughs> All right. Take it. Your question. Which actress starred in and wrote the screenplay for the 2019 comedy Late Night? Saw this one. Yeah. And the yeah. review, Schmoes. Well, I don't want to do. It. I don't want to say anything yet because it's in case I give anything away. I'm asking for a number. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And we start with Paige. Mindy Kaling. Yes. Paige. Hey. No. Didn't get it. I went Emma Thompson. Paige going back up here by two now. Paige sees a 5-3 lead. 5-3. And we get to our next question. Next question. And that is question seven. Dramas. Which 2018 film follows the relationship of musicians Jackson and Allie Main, whose love is threatened by Jackson's alcoholism? Whoa. That doesn't sound fun. For who? I was just talking about relationships. I gave up after you started. You were going to say that. I see. I set you up. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Peggy. A star is born. Yes. Paige. That's what's happening with me today, man. A star is born. Look at the moxie on the Boston badass. Six, four, six, four, as she keeps the two point lead. And we get to our last question in round number one. Mark, we got. It's in the category of mystery. And for one point, the query. Which Oscar-winning actor plays the marble-mouthed criminal Freddie Fenster in the film The Usual Suspects? And you just got to wonder what the odds are of me asking a question like that when, in fact, one of the factions competing today, Christian, 
Oh, yeah. yeah. It's probably done on purpose, as I see. Uh, PJ I so. Can you repeat five. the question? First one. All right. Two JTE rules remaining in the category of mystery. Which Oscar-winning actor plays the marble-mouthed criminal Freddie Fenster in the film The Usual Suspects? Not to be confused with the slightly less popular faction. Do you think Sam Levine would make this a priority for everyone to, to watch? <laughs> it's five. It's a good movie. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please, and Paige. I can't remember if this is his name or not, so I don't know Kevin's PC. That's incorrect. And yeah. Peggy? Gabriel Byrne? Mm. Looking for Benicio Del Toro. Ah, yeah. Yep. Ah. Flip it for real. As there I you smack go. up the mic. Yeah. Perfect. Please. Didn't work out. No editing that no, out. No, we can't. There's nothing we can do about it. All right. Six, four, six, four. And the suspects and the Boston Badass up by two as we get into our second round. Mark, what are the rules? I know that you guys are pumped up. Well, get pumped up even more. I, if you've been watching anything I've been doing, you've hear, you've heard me raving about Stereo. It's a brand new app. I absolutely love it. I've been using it every day. I've been interacting with you guys, and I know ton of you guys are going to be doing Stereos. Hell, some of you might be doing Stereo right now. What is it? Stereo app. It's got thousands of live social conversations going on at the same time with a wide range for genres for every interest. It's got news. It's got comedy. It's got sports. It's got schmodown. It's got all of that. You choose whether you want to be a co-host of a stream or, uh, or you just participate as a guest and simply listen in on exclusive conversation questions. Uh, it, it's, it's super interactive. You click the share button to help people out. There's a clap button and you start to really listen in on conversation and get to interact with people that you normally won't, wouldn't be able to. It's really great. I love it. I've been addicted to it. Everybody on SEN has been. And it also is it's a one it's one thing where people always ask, how do I podcast? I've never podcasted before. I've wanted a podcast. This is so easy. You put earbuds in, you talk to somebody else, you talk to somebody in this community, you talk to somebody, one of your friends, you start your own thing, you hashtag in movies, you set it up, you set up your own stream, you know when to do it. It's incredible. SEN, the after show that we've been doing, uh, it's every day, 12 o'clock, it's just Brett and myself cutting up jokes and just being morons and, and it's been a lot of fun taking the questions from you guys and it's, it's starting to catch on and you can get ahead of the curve if you join all you got to do is you go to stereo.com slash christian harloff please head on over there stereo.com sign up follow me follow some of your favorite schmodown personalities go on over there it's really great you can you can interact with me and i'll hear you and i'll be able to place a voice with a name something that we've wanted to do for a very long time and now we can do it it's great it's live social conversation it's amazing Amazing. Uh, once again, you can be the co-host or you can just listen in to a conversation. Uh, join us. You can join us for the shows that we do for Sith Council. I do it every Wednesday at 10 a.m. for the Brett and Christian comedy show or just SEN personalities. You can join us every day, Monday through Friday at 12 o'clock. And then there's random days, maybe like on a Wednesday at like four o'clock, I'll do a Schmodown show. So there's a lot of stuff already happening on that app. So go ahead. Check it out. Please go and join Stereo today. I promise you, you're getting ahead of the curve. Stereo.com slash Christian Harlow. It is the wheel round, the wheel of fate, doom, and justice. And I'm told that our writer, PJ Campbell, actually brought a physical. No, he, he did not. So it's going to be a virtual wheel that you spin with your mind. Once you settle on a category, you're going to have four questions in that particular realm. The questions are to you and only you, they're worth two points. Now, should you not know the answer, you think you're close, but you want to be sure, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which we think is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes from two down to one. That's important because stealing is available in round number two. So if you do miss the question, your opponent can swoop in and steal those points. We also have a sponsored wheel slice, Christian. It's always exciting when one of our movie trivia Schmodown patrons says, hey, I'm sponsoring a slice on that wheel. And today it is Robert Redford. I call him Bob. His lesser friends call him Robert Redford. Should one of our competitors spin the Robert Redford wheel slice and keep it in field questions, we will say the name of that Patreon member of the Schmodown. Thanks to all our patrons out there. Christian, back to you. All right. So because, Paige, you have a two-point lead here. You're going to decide if you want to go first or second. Do I get to uh, call my manager or no? 
No, you have to decide first, and then you'll be able to speak to your manager if you decide you want to go first. All right, come on. Let's go first. Sam, 60 seconds, starting now. I cannot tell you how impressed I am with you right now. You are crushing every aspect of this. From the Boston badass I know you are, to the movie trivia knowledge, I'm so glad you wanted to go first. You are rolling, and nothing's going to get in your way. How do you feel? I feel good, man. I got to keep this ball rolling. That's why I was like, I got to go first. Make Absolutely. I'm not, I, I don't want to waste any time. I don't want to take you out of the zone, so let's do that wheel. So now the wheel is up, and here is the spin. So Paige has an opportunity here. If she doesn't like what she spins first, she can spin again, unless, of course, it's on the opponent's choice option. The wheel in the Schmodown keeps on turning, and it's Westerns. Westerns, 60 seconds to decide, starting now. All right, we discussed this at length. This one is a 50-50 shot. If we land on it, it's totally fine. But since it was our first spin, how do you feel about going again? I mean, I'm comfortable with it, but there's a lot of other ones on there that I think I can. Yeah, I agree. Make things so, happen with. All right. So yeah, let's spin let's that go again. ball again. All right, here we go. So here's the spin. Sounds like the beginning for Hot for Teacher, doesn't it? Oh, it could be almost. Mystery right. films. So mystery films. All right. So All right, Paige, we... you got two JTEs left. Use them if you need them. We got the challenge if we need it. You got this. So we now go to mystery films. Mystery films for Paige. Paige, you're going to get four questions in the realm of mystery films. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, here you go. Here's question number one. Who directed the 2019 film Knives Out? Ryan Johnson. For two points. All right. Question number two. Who received a Best Actress Oscar nomination for her performances? Excuse me, for her performance as Amy Dunn in the 2014 film Gone Girl. That is Rose and Pipe. Can you clear, Can you say that again? You broke up a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Roseman Pike. Yes, that is correct for two points. All right. Here you go. Here is the next question. All right. What 1985 film from director Barry Levinson tells how the famous characters Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson first met? I'm going to go on a multiple choice. Let's play it safe. Sure. Is it A, the 7% solution, B, the private life of Sherlock Holmes, C, the hound of the Baskervilles, or D, young Sherlock Holmes? Can you just repeat the question altogether, please? The question altogether? Okay. Here's the question. All right. That's the second one. What 1985 film from director... Barry Levinson tells how the famous characters Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson first met. Is it A, the 7% solution, B, the private life of Sherlock Holmes, C, the hound of the Baskervilles, or D, young Sherlock Holmes? I'm going to go with D, young Sherlock Holmes. And that would be correct for one point. All right, so that is question number three. Here is your final question. Here's your final question. Which actress plays the character of Emily? Who's a wealthy young mother who mysteriously disappears in the 2018 film A Simple Favor? Uh, Blake Lively. For two more points, what a round by Paige yeah. Fabretti. The Boston badass coming to play as she sees herself now with a nine point lead 13 to 4. 60 seconds, Kate. Okay. You, whatever it is that you need to do right now, I need you to do it. I need you to go scream in a hole. I need you to go take a lap. Whatever you have to do, you got to shake it off (laughs) because I can see you imploding and you don't need to be because this first round, we can come back from, it's Mm. two points. Do you know how, do you know how many two point matches end not the way that the first round started? So sister, you have got this. Shake it off. Say it with me. I'm going to shake it, yes, there she goes. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Because the I'm truth good. is, I know you're good. 
And that's the thing. I know you're good. And I know you're better than what you, we just saw. And you're going to prove that right now. Shake it off. Exhale it all. You have got this. Control control that. Okay? Mm. That's yeah. the only thing we control. We can't control her mouth. We can't control she's showing Dunkin' Donuts napkins. All we can do is control how well you play. Okay? Yeah. So you do you. Let's go. And here's a spin. All right, that Robert Redford slice. Just chilling out there. No one want to go to Sundance? You called it. And almost got, And it's Oprah. It's Oprah. 60 seconds. Oh, what do starting. you think about this one, Peggy? Um, I'm thinking in, there's other... Stay? I think I want to stay on this one. There's other ones that I am more afraid okay. of than this one. I say we okay. go. I All love right. that. That's what I'm talking about. That's the spirit. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to get four questions in the realm of Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. All right. That's right. Oprah Winfrey, famed performer. I hear she does interviews now. And uh, your question is going to be about the movies that Oprah has appeared in or maybe done some work behind the scenes. Peggy, your first question. In the world of Oprah, for two points, Oprah Winfrey appeared in which film from director Steven Spielberg? The Color Purple. Two points for Peggy. All right. Question number two. And that is, who directed the films Selma and A Wrinkle in Time in which Oprah appeared? Ava DuVernay. Two oh, more yeah. points, and Peggy starting to feel a Christian. That motivational speech from Mulligan had me wanting to run 10 miles, and I think it worked. All right, here's the next question. And in the category of Oprah, your penultimate question. For two points, Oprah Winfrey appears in what 1986 film from director... Gerard Friedman, which also stars Matt Dillon, Victor Love, and Elizabeth McGovern. Native son. Maybe. That is two more points, and Peggy is cooking. She's got one question left, and she can cut the lead to one point heading into round number three if she gets her two points here. And it is. Which comedic actress plays the character Mrs. Who in the film A Wrinkle in Time. The aforementioned Mindy Kaling. She's a popular lady here today, as are these two competitors, Christian. What a perfect round by Peggy. It's a one-point ball game. What a game it is. Both getting categories they are very, very happy with, and as they should be, as we see ourselves now, 13-12. What a fight it has been so far. The rookies come into play and showing that they should be here. All right. Now we get to round number three. Mark, what are the rules? Round number three works like thus. We do have sudden death in case we get there. The math indicates, ah, there's a chance. I can't do it on the fly. I can tell you the rules. What we need are numbers from each competitor. Three numbers to be exact. These numbers may range from one to 20. You may not pick the same numbers as your opponent. Mark, why can't we pick? I'll tell you why. Because each number corresponds to a different category of movie trivia, schmodown, and goodness. Your first question's worth two points. Next one's worth three points. Your final question is worth five big points. And because Paige for Betty, the Boston badass, has a one point advantage, Paige, you get to give us your lucky numbers first from one to 20. What feels fortunate? All right, I'm going to go nine's my lucky number, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, four for Bob Doerr. And let's go with 18. Nine, nine four, four, and 18. 18. All right, and for PG? I will take three, seven, and 11. Three, seven, and 11. 60 seconds. Dude, you are owning this game right now. I'm so glad. Do you know how what a bummer it is to go perfect in round two and not have the lead in the match? Okay? So Kate exactly. can talk all she wants about that two points in round one not being a factor. It's an enormous factor right now. Okay? And we are not going to forget that. And I want you to know that you have the lead going into round three. This is where matches are made. You got this. You got one repeat left. We leave no repeats on the table. Mm -hmm. Something doesn't sound right, you call challenge. I'm right here, I'm with you, but this is your game right now, Paige. Your game from top to bottom. I feel so great about having drafted you. You are exceeding my wildest expectations. You are blowing minds in the Schmodown fan community right now. 
This is your match page. Five seconds. Right? How do Thank you, you, how you feel? And I'm about to show who the real lioness is in this match right now. So oh. let's get there. All right. That's time. Thank you. 60 seconds starting now. That's not our energy. We don't respond to that. Nope. <laughs> we, this is all that matters right here. Okay. They they have to do that because they're getting, they're getting a little scared. Because you you know what you just did? You went uh, you went perfect in the second round. Did you did you feel did you feel when that happened? That was pretty fun, right? It was. So whatever you that was always in you all along. Doesn't matter what questions come at you next. You take your time with them. You have all three JTEs. If you just want to have an extra breath when a question is asked, take a JTE. You've got three of them. You yep. could take one on every single one of these. You could take three for one. Whatever you need to do, stay in that zone that you are in right now. Nobody's getting us out of that zone. We are going to do this thing. I am so proud of you. Stay with it, sister. You've got it. Yep. All right. Thank you so much. All right, round three begins, and we start with PG. Peggy Gubbins, are you ready? Ready. All right, here you go. For your two-point question, you chose category three, disaster films. Disaster films. Here's your first one. Who plays the character of Grace, who's the daughter of Bruce Willis's character in Armageddon? Liv Tyler. For two points. And we bounce now to Paige, who is going to get Category 9, Mark. That's right. Not wanting to miss a thing or a point here to get the lead back on her side of the ledger. She's chosen the category of Thrillers. And your question for two points and to regain the lead. Who plays the main lead, Walter Sparrow, in the number 23? That goofy man himself, Jim Carrey. For my money, his best work, Christian, the number 23. The lead is once again in the hands of Frobetti. All right, so now we go back to Peggy, who chose Category 7. Category 7, that's Disney films. Disney films for Category 7. All right, here you go. Who plays the character of Scrooge in 1992's The Muppet Christmas Carol? And five, four, three, two, Repeat one. The All right, first one. Here you go. Who plays the character? Excuse me. Who plays the character of Scrooge in 1992's The Muppet Christmas Carol? Gonna take a shot here. Michael Caine. Correct. For three points. Big three points. What a massive, massive guess. And we now go back to Paige for Freddy, who is going to have her three pointer, which is going to be category four, Mark. Category four. That's right. That's uh, Jim Harbaugh's number in the NFL. And it corresponds to a category that we actually know around the movie Trivia Schmodown. It's the nickname of this season War Movies. And here it is for three points. And the lead. Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman co star in what 2008 war drama? Five, okay, two thousand four, three, two. I'm gonna go war horse. This incorrect we're looking for australia australia was the answer all right so here's where we are five point question for Paige. she hits it it bounces back to peggy and forces her to answer however if she misses then pg peggy gubbins will win the match for the den all right Paige, you chose category 18 and that is in the realm of the 2010s 2010s. 2010s for Paige for Bretty, and she chose the number of how many championships the Boston Celtics have. She can add her own little chapter to Boston lore, possibly, by getting this question correct and forcing the hand of Gubbins. 
Here you go. Your question for five points and the lead. Which Marvel actor stars as the character Tommy opposite Carrie Mulligan and Kira Knightley in the 2010 drama Never Let Me Go? Five, four, three. Repeat two. the question. Last one. Okay. Which Marvel actor stars as the character Tommy opposite Carey Mulligan and Kira Knightley in the 2010 drama Never Let Me Go? And five, four. Three. I'm going to go Sebastian Stein. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, P.G. Packing Cummins. That's why those points didn't matter going into round three, Sam Levine. The answer was Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield was the answer. Andrew Garfield was the answer. Heartbreaking loss for Paige Fabrini and yeah, Sam yeah. Levine. But what a battle it was. What a fight it was. Scrapping back. What a battle. I don't think this is the last time we see the Boston Badass and PG. I think a new rivalry was born here today. PG, congratulations. Great great victory here kate congratulations thank you guys you. will be with jen sturger in just a moment here so thank you very much mark unbelievable match what a match it was Paige looked phenomenal as sam said like you know just a couple questions at the end there she just she just didn't know you know there's just a couple ones in the wheelhouse sometimes that just happens and when you look at what peggy did though as kate said she stayed in it she didn't get her head. A lot of times, sometimes people, ah, people go, I don't know. This is, uh, I, 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 I missed it. I should, I screwed up. You get inside your head. She didn't do that. She stayed in the pocket. She took the victory and the den and PG get two points. Yeah, it governs in for Betty, both big sports fans. And they know it's it ain't over till it's over. And that was certainly the case with this matchup here today. Like you said, maybe the start of a new rivalry, but either way, an introduction for not one, but two new stars in the movie trivia showdown galaxy a tough tricky five pointer there you hear marvel actor your mind naturally tends towards the right. mcu forgetting all those other marvel films like the one starring andrew garfield and for govins i mean who doesn't love a victory celebration that's emotional and of course includes a dog reminding me that i have to leave to pick up mine well, you go and you do your thing. Go pick up your dog. I will throw you out of there because I'm going to throw anyway to both Peggy and Kate and Jen. Here we go. Oh, Peggy, congratulations. <laughs> you had yeah. such an emotional journey to get here. Please tell me, what does this win mean to you? This is the best present I could hope for. Uh, just the journey that I've gone through to get here and the emotional just turmoil that just was going through me just being a part of it today and having it be my first match it's amazing i, I can't even describe it oh being a part of it i'm like that's all you girl you're gonna make me tear up how is this <laughs> happening in a virtual world where i'm getting emotional over a digital <laughs> interview damn it oh yes. um, but Kate, it's because you can, it's because you can feel how sincere it is coming it, from it honestly it, it truly does i feel the passion that these rookies are coming in here with and it makes me so excited for the future of this league kate you've got to be feeling the same way right now but i have to say to you that pep talk that you gave her before she started her round two, I saw two completely different competitors before and after. And I just wanna know, like, how did you reel her back in? Because I saw the same thing you did. I saw her beating herself up. I saw her doing hard math, thinking there's no way I can overcome this. And you you brought her out of it. 
I think I th I think that's giving me too much credit and her too little. I think she just needed a reminder that she was that it was that it was it was her it was her game to win and her game to lose. And I think it's things like you know that Emma Thompson thing, like the yeah. in that question, she she knew the movie right after but she wasn't she was out. I knew it was Mindy Kaling. I'm sorry, but yeah, yeah, no, and I and that's the, I could I could see that happened with you, Peggy, and I thought you know she just needs a little a little snap out of it because. First of all, you came into this match with more emotions than all of us combined, okay? And I think when we look back on this, we're going to say, listen, that's not the way we want to win. We don't want to be down the whole game and take it at the end. We don't want to. We don't want it to be that way. But I think that the bottom line is that the way that you won today was miraculous. And I think it's fan. I just, I couldn't be prouder of you. And I love that we've got the first jitters out of our way, your first yes. match jitters. And you know what it feels to win. And now we can sort of take that energy and have a little fun. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't know if we had much fun today. <laughs> I, I, I put a lot of pressure on myself today because I wanted to win this for my brother. And I was, he, if he was here, it would have been my biggest cheerleader today. And I'm so happy I did it. And, uh, my other brother, Robbie, his birthday's tomorrow on the second. So happy birthday, Robbie. <laughs> oh happy man, birthday, I was Robbie. literally, I was just literally about to say to you, you know, your brother introduced you to the league. And so for you to be here and to get here for him, I just know how proud he would be of everything that you accomplished here today. The fact that you didn't beat up on yourself, the fact you didn't let down and that you were able to pull off this victory. You're, you're essentially, you're our Charlotte Flair. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I see such great things. I see such great things in you and your future in this league. And I hope that you feel that same way. Oh, I'm hungry for more now. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I love yes. it. It's like wipe the tears and you're like, all right, I'm ready. So so I have to ask you, you know, what is next? Who who are you looking for? Uh, you know, do we have do we have bullseyes on anybody's, you know, back? Like who are we looking for, Kate? I we're looking for um I mean, listen, I, I feel like I would like anybody that's on Sam's team at this point. I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to keep wa washing that smug face off his face. Did I say that right? I'd like to no. keep wiping that <laughs> I'd like to keep wiping that face smugness off his smugness. Oh, well, congratulations, Kate. It feels like a whole new season for the den, and I'm really excited to see what you are going to put together for us this season. We're coming. We're coming this season. <laughs> We're I love coming. that. I love that enthusiasm, ladies. Congratulations. All right. So like I said, Mark Ellis is he's off fixing dogs. So that's fine. He's gonna fix dogs. We had an incredible incredible match what a match it was what an incredible emotional journey it was for peggy and i can relate i understand i absolutely watching her uh, her audition and seeing that and understanding what that means to her everyone who has experienced loss everyone who knows uh, that particular journey and the way that she has handled this the way that she has approached this um uh, again i didn't know Peggy's brother, but I would also agree with saying that he is proud. We are proud of the battle that they had here today. What an amazing, amazing performance it was by both of these incredible performers. And now the Boston Badass, Paige Fabretti and Sam Levine are standing by with Jen Sturger. Jen? First of all, Sam Page, I know that was a tough loss for both of you. Uh, walk me through that last round, because like I said, you were leading in the first round and second, you looked so impressive. And it's just kind of like the wheels fell off for that three pointer and that five pointer. I'm not gonna lie, honestly, I did not know those questions. So I played my heart out this game and I'm ready for more blood. I want that next game. <laughs> Whoever you guys yeah. will give me, I'll take because I'm so ready. This is just my stepping zone. I got my jitters off me now. I'm ready to go. Sam, tell me a little bit about what you were thinking during that match. Uh, well, I want to say what I'm thinking right now. That right there. I mean, so many first-time players play their first Schmodown match. It doesn't go their way. They get real bad luck at the end, and they go, oh, I don't. maybe this isn't for me, or maybe I thought I knew more than I did. Not this girl right here. She cannot wait to get back out there. And that is the absolute heart of a champion. That is the heart of a player who belongs on the suspects, who I know is thirsty for that victory and then all the victories after that. And look, when I always ask the same of all my players, you answer the questions you know. If you don't know, you take your best guess. 
Sometimes it goes our way. Sometimes you get really lucky. You say Michael Caine, having no idea if that's right. And the yeah. cards and the chips fall your way. Sometimes you say War Horse. You're not sure if it's right, but you make the guess. You go for it. And that's exactly what she did. And sometimes you get lucky and you guess the right thing. Sometimes you don't. And Listen, I'll Sam, never ask Stacey, Stacey Howard and Josh McCuga made very good careers for themselves here in the Schmodown. And that's with that exactly same why method. Stacey Howard plays for the usual suspects. I love my guessers. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So did, what did you take away from this match today? Um, here's, I have two takeaways. The first is I want to congratulate um, the great uh, Kate on on winning the the entirety of the Schmodown season war. This is congratulations. You did it. You got all the <laughs> champions, your faction of the year manager. Of the, oh, wait a second. What's that? Oh, I'm being told this was just a regular match. We're two. <laughs> Sam. Is that enough smugness for you, Kate? Um, no, I, I am... Look, here's my takeaway. I meant what I said before that third round. Paige absolutely proved not only does she belong here, but that she is someone to be feared in the Schmodown. When other competitors hear, oh, they have to play Paige, I want them to go, oh, no, I... She was, she was really good. She got a little unlucky in her last round, but what she did in those first two rounds... That was epic. That was someone making a statement. And I know that to be true, and I know she does too, but I get to say it for her. That's the fun part of being the manager. And I think it can be said, I was just watching both these ladies play, that I'm very excited for this strong, badass female presence that we have here in this league now. Mm -hmm. I'm excited so, for it. I can't wait to, oh, I can't wait. Whatever, whoever you guys want to give me next, let's go. The card didn't that fall was my, my way next today. question. Card didn't fall my way today, but I'm on to the next one. Peggy just all got right. lucky. Literally, all I gotta say is the girl got lucky. Congrats to her though, but she got lucky. Grab yourself a Dunkin' and some beers or whatever it is you guys do up there. Oh. Dust yourself off and uh, we'll see you again soon. Man, you look at some passionate players and Paige looks pissed off. And you can see exactly what these two competitors did here today. This is exactly what you need in order to thrive in the movie trivia showdown. They have the heart. They have the hunger. They are here to stay. We are here to stay. It's only April 1st. The matches keep on going. And then do not forget about next week. Next week, the big pay-per-view. Kevin Smith. 2-0 goes up against, she was just mentioned a little while ago, Sassy, Stacy Howard. And in the main event, the rematch of the century. That is right. Adam Collins versus Dangerous Dan Merle, number two. They're going at it again for the movie trivia showdown championship of the world. Anyway. It is going to be something special, so make sure you go on over to the SchmodownLive.com, get your tickets, and... Patrons, patreon.com slash schmodown. For Mark Ellis, for the great team over at Skybound, for Jen Sturger, for Paige, for PG, for Mr. Sam Levine and Kate Mulligan, we thank you guys. Make sure you subscribe. Follow us on all the social platforms. There are tons and tons of, of scenes and great moments that are happening on those platforms you should check out. And always stay for the beginning of the matches. Always stay to the end. Thank you for joining us here. I'm Christian Harloff. We'll see you next time.